I really can't think of anything else that could be of help. I didn't notice anything abnormal when I tried it here yesterday. Have you checked the usage reports in your personal database? Is it possible that the data may have been altered in some way? No, I've checked it three times already. The problem didn't start with me. I'm sure of it. What are you guys... Mr. Rick was testing out a new simulacrum technique, but something went wrong and... he ended up like this. Did you find the cause? We're still investigating. I've already reported the problem to Dr. Henry, so we should have a solution soon. I just hope it's not too big of a problem. I won't be able to go anywhere like this without scaring everyone around me. I take it you've seen the mess down there? We found the root of the problem. Someone used aberrant data to repackage the simulacrum unit labeled Prototype T04 in the database. As a result, when Rick selected the T04 unit, he unknowingly accessed aberrant data instead. After looking into the access history for the simulacrum database, I cross-referenced all high-level accounts with data modification privileges against the possible time at which the data was tampered with. The T-04 unit is rarely accessed, and the last time was nearly two months ago. As such, it was fairly easy to identify the culprit. Her name is Samir. She is a Hykros executor. Despite her young age and relatively short career length, her abilities have proven to be outstanding, and she shows no small amount of promise. <sighs> Unfortunately, despite her exceptional capabilities, her personality leaves much to be desired. How bad is it? As a young and eccentric prodigy, she is abnormally fond of causing all kinds of trouble, as well as pulling pranks that only she herself finds amusing. As a result, very few people are willing to deal with her, much less work with her. We lost contact with her about a month ago, and she has yet to report her whereabouts or actions to her superiors. The reason I asked you to come here today was to help me with this dilemma. So where should I begin looking? According to our current records, she tends to settle in a certain safe house on the ground. You can begin your search there. I'll send you the data of the safe house. As long as you get her to return the original data for Prototype T-04, we won't hold her accountable for the problems her tampering has caused. I just hope this mess will be over soon. Ding dong! Welcome to my cozy little home. Unfortunately, due to all the work I'm busy with, I don't have time to see any visitors right now. For future visits, please make an appointment in advance. See you some other day. Ahem. <clears throat> so, uh, press one for weather inquiries, two for task assignment, three for scheduling your revenge, and four if you want to treat me to lunch. Bye. Your revenge request has been received, and you are the 91st person in the queue. Please wait patiently for your turn. Your estimated wait time is two weeks. Jeez, 
Why are this many people so eager to get their butts kicked? Ahem. <clears throat> so, uh, press one for weather inquiries, two for task assigned. Today's weather is perfectly clear, with sunny skies and high vis- Just leave the package at the door. Uh, package? Huh? Aren't you a Banjis delivery person? No, I... I work for Hycros. Huh? Who crows? Oh, I almost forgot about that. So what? You're the one they sent to find me in the end? Dr. Joaquin would like you to return the original data for prototype T-04. Oh, so I'm supposed to hand it over just like that? What if I refuse? D Dr. Joaquin says that if you give it back, he can... He can what? No what? I don't care, so bye bye for now. If I may ask... You came to see her too? And you are? My name is Huma. I'm an executor. Dr. Joaquin asked me to find Samir and ask her to give back the original simulacrum data she had tampered with. I know. After all, I saw your exchange with her just now. If you don't mind, let me try asking her. Someone was able to solve my impossible riddles. Leave your name, won't you? Wow, how did you do that? Is there a secret sequence of buttons to press? N not really, no. Your name? What's your name? Uh, my name is Huma. D did something go wrong? Your name? Louder. My name is Flora. F Flora? Come on, let's go inside. here fairly often, so maybe we can find some clues around here. Who knows? If you manage to find the data on prototype T04 here, you can go back even sooner. A warning. Next time, you won't be so lucky. I 
found this note in the ribbons. It has the address of Banjus Inn written on it. The Banjus Inn? Did Samir leave this behind? The address was written very clearly. Maybe she wants to meet me there. Or maybe... Oh, I honestly have no idea what goes through her head. I hear she's kind of eccentric. Lunatic is more like it. Dealing with someone like her is almost impossible. Anyway, now that the danger has passed, I think we should get out of here right away. I'm sure there are still plenty of other traps in this room. We stand a better chance if we work together, so I'll be waiting for you in Banjas. Then I believe this belongs to you. I've only been in business for about a year, but I haven't met anyone else around here named Flora. Is something wrong, Huma? Oh, you're here. I was just asking the owner about Samir. Like I said, nobody by the name of Samir has ever checked in here. Not even once. Are you sure you got the name right? What's with that package? The owner says he's never met a Samir which means she's probably using a different alias. So I asked him if he's noticed anyone suspicious lately. Now you're asking the right questions. The person who left this package with me is the textbook definition of suspicious. Uh, was it a tall, young girl with blonde hair? A tall, blonde girl? No, 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 it was no pretty little blonde. It was this giant fella, about seven feet tall, and as wide as the two of you put together. But the guy was completely covered from head to toe, and his accent was definitely not from around here. No matter how you look at it, this guy was anything but normal. Then, are you sure that the package this person left with you is for me? Absolutely! Look, it even has four flora written on it. Didn't you say that was you? If this really is from Samir, you don't think she put a bomb in it or something, right? No, Samir would never hurt the people here. I think it's safe to open it and take a look inside. strange illness, one that even the best doctors and banjas couldn't cure. 
Afterwards, Mr. Colador helped us ask Hycros for aid, and they took her away one day. I haven't seen her once since then. You mean you two haven't seen each other at all since then? When she first left, she would sometimes send me letters. I thought that she would get better soon, that she would come back to us. But after a while, even the letters stopped coming. I've wanted to find her all this time. I even joined Hycros as an executor on my own account. But maybe she... Oh, never mind. Why don't we put our search on hold for a bit and go visit Grandma Lucy? I haven't been back to see her in a long time. Does Lucy live by herself? Yes. I can't come back often because of my missions. She lives on her own right now. At least she's healthy and everyone checks on her. So I feel a lot better about this arrangement. But she's getting old and a little senile. If she says something strange, please don't mind her. Grandma, I'm back. Oh, mm -hmm. well, if it isn't my little peach, come here. Let Grandma take a good look at you. N no, Grandma, it's me, Flora. Flora? Oh. You two are as naughty as ever, playing tricks on your old granny. You're clearly my little peach. I wouldn't know. I've raised the two of you ever since you were no taller than my knees. Your granny might be a little slower in her old age, but she could never mistake the two of you. Do you know how long it's been since you left, Peach? You got poor little Flora worried sick, saying things like she's going to go out and find you day in and day out. <sighs> Grandma, your mind is getting even hazier. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Say, who's that next to you? A friend? Oh, thank goodness. I was always afraid you wouldn't make any friends with how naughty you could be. <laughs> Grandma, I'm helping Huma look for Samir. Ah, so you're looking for Flora, eh? Darn memory of mine, almost forgot. She came by to visit a few days ago and even left a letter for Peach. Here, take a look. She came by to visit a few days ago, but I... There's an address on this as well. Samir says she's waiting for us there. You two must have more important business to attend to, I take it. Ah, and I was just about to make your favorite food, too. I'm sorry, Grandma. I... I mean, your little Peach will be back to see you soon. Oh, don't you worry about that. Young people are always busy, as they should be. Go on and take care of business, and remember to be careful. Granny will always be waiting for you here. Come with me. Project. It appears to be an extended application of the simulacrum technique. I only saw it in passing, so I don't know much. Besides, I didn't have high enough security clearance to read more about it. But I think that Peach might have something to do with this project. I've searched for her all these years, but I've only ever learned bits and pieces of her whereabouts from word of mouth. It seems any information related to her is kept highly confidential. To be honest, the peach we've been dealing with feels so unfamiliar to me. Maybe she's actively avoiding me. Or maybe, after all these years, she just isn't the same person I once knew. Ugh, I'm definitely overthinking things. Let's head to the research facility. Maybe we'll find the answers we're looking for there.
the research facility is just up ahead, but something doesn't seem right. What's wrong? I saw a few guards quietly escorting some researchers out of the facility just now. It looks like they're following emergency evacuation procedures. Are you ready? If so, let's go take a look. Researchers are in such a hurry to evacuate. Come take a look at the message on the screen. The hacker. Could it have been Samir? I don't know, but she's the one who asked us to come here. What could she be thinking? Let's split up and search the area. The researchers left in such a hurry. They're bound to have left some clues lying around. Pay close attention to your surroundings, especially any computer monitors or scattered documents. We might get lucky with one of them.
after her. I would also like to know what they did to her. The hero defeated the demon, but the princess is never waking up. What a cruel ending. in one of the jars over there. How does it feel? Lost? Scared? Or you realize that you've been had and you only feel ang- What is it that you want? What do you think I want? You don't understand how I feel. I looked for her for years. I saw her face and I thought I had an answer. That wasn't even her. They wear my friend's face as if it was rightfully theirs to start with. Huma, is T-04? This is what you're looking for. The original data of T-04. The person that I grew up with lives inside this tiny chip. I don't want to see her because it disgusts me knowing that it's someone else inside. Listen to me, Samir! I will not hand her over to Hykros again. Tell Dr. Joaquin that I will gladly shoulder the consequences. Samir! Samir! I'm sorry, Dr. Joaquin. I'm fully aware of the situation. It seems Samir has played us all for fools. It was another prank all along. A prank? But Samir and Huma, they... Don't worry, they're fine. Our emergency response team has arrived at Research Facility X7, and they report that the facility is perfectly intact. It appears Samir suspended the self-destruct sequence at the last minute and left with the T-04 data before the emergency response team arrived. Project X-7, also known as the Mimicry Program, is an undisclosed project of Hykros that is currently under development. The purpose of this project is to quantify and standardize the simulacrum data of a target subject and safely apply it to other subjects. Simply put, it is intended to simulate the physical appearance of a given individual without affecting the subject's own consciousness. 
However, the application of this technology had to first overcome a very dangerous and imposing obstacle, namely the compartmentalization of the subject's simulacrum data and the separation of physical and conscious data. For this reason, we recruited our first batch of 11 participants as our initial test subjects. Subject T04 was one of them. Subject T04? Her name was Huma, I believe. Yes, I remember now. She was incredibly resilient and optimistic. If she hadn't come down with such a rare and terrible illness, she would never have suffered at our hands. She and the other 10 subjects participated in the initial phase of experimentation. In the end, only two of them successfully survived the separation of consciousness from body, subjects T03 and T04. t 04s situation was very complex. We extracted the data on her physical form using the mimicry program's technology and used a special editing technique to essentially delete her illness. But when we attempted to reintegrate the data, things took an unexpected turn. The two sets of data violently rejected one another, and so we were forced to store her physical and conscious data separately. As a result, T-04 has not been able to regain consciousness. Prior to Samir causing all of this chaos, Research Facility X-7 was attempting to construct a virtual persona based on Subject T-04's most recent physical data and import her conscious data into it. If they succeeded, it would mean that Subject T-04 could finally regain consciousness. Given her relationship with Subject T-04, I can fully understand the child's motives, but after today's events, I'm afraid I have no choice but to report the incident to Headquarters. If they decide to pursue Samir, her best course of action will be to surrender herself and T-04's data and accept her punishment. I didn't want things to end up like this either, but Samir has gone way too far this time. Let's bring things to a close, for now. Thank you for all your hard work. I will apprise you of any new developments in the future.
Let's <laughs> go. 